everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. So in today's video, it is the beginning of the month, so it's time for my monthly challenge for my Facebook group. So this month, the colors are pastel colors. I've got them right here. I did my drip test and you can see they're really, really pretty pastel colors. And then I'm also going to be using a white pearl. You can also use um, any pastel colors with white or black, white and black, white or black, either way, but they're all pastel colors. So I'm, what I'm doing, the technique that I'm doing is an open cup pour. You guys can pick any technique um, that you would choose. You just have to use pastel colors. All right, so I have all of my open cups here, my set. These are available in my Etsy shop. I've got some new colors. Um, I'm gonna just be using the ice only because I've used my ice set before, but we've got ruby ice, sapphire ice, and teal ice. Um, some really, really cool uh, new colors there. Super, super pretty. Link for those is in the description. All right, so I think with this one, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this size, I think. Um, last time, I think I used this size. It's kind of cool to have different ones. You can use different sizes, and maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a second one, I don't know. But for now, I'm gonna start with that one, and I'm gonna go over the colors with you real quick. So, they're all from Folk Art. And the first one is, I gotta read it, Blue Lullaby super super pretty and then this one here is calypso sky <laughs> i guess i should read them first this one is light lavender and then here's the light pink and this one is called ballet pink got a yellow and this one is daybreak and then of course i've got my white pearl um, so I mixed up all those and uh, again you can see the colors here when they dry that's my again that's my drip test so to make sure they were pretty close to the same consistency um, the way that I mixed them was a one to one ratio except for which one was it the pink um, because it was a little bit older and it had kind of thickened up. So I went, this one was a one and a half, um, one part paint to one and a half pouring medium. And also the same for the white pearl. Um, so that's how I mixed, mixed those up. And the consistency is pretty, I'll start with this one. It's pretty runny, a little bit runnier than I normally use. Um, it, there's really no mound it pretty much just disappears into you know your cup there and you won't really see a mound so anyway I did give them a little I made these last night and I gave them a little stir a little bit ago before I went and got my nails done and now they're you know any of the little air bubbles that were in there are gone all right so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna move my my open cup a little bit out uh, and I think I think I'm just gonna put some white pearl down first and then I'll set my cup in it and just like that and I don't really have a set order of how I'm gonna put the colors on so I think I'm gonna start with this pretty I forget the name of it Calypso Calypso something or other? Calypso Sky. It's a really pretty pastel -y teal color. Alright, and I guess I'm just going to continue to just pour some paint in and see how it goes. I don't use a lot of yellow, guys, so a little bit, uh, <laughs> maybe not nervous but it's a little bit out of my comfort zone so it's always you know a little 
unnerving maybe at times to try, but sometimes you gotta just go for it, right? continuing to do this um, just to kind of recap for the, the rules um, for the group you have to, it has to be a new painting starting April 1st um, and then it goes to the end of the month and again the colors are all pastel um, and any technique also you can use black or white so I kind of wanted to see all the different techniques using pretty pastels. I thought it would be, you know, it's Easter month and, you know, we've got spring now and just all the pretty colors of the flowers and all of that. So can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And also, if you are new to my channel and you don't know, I do have a Facebook group. Um, and it's called Acrylic Pouring with Friends, which of course is the same name as my YouTube channel, so that's super easy to remember. And then um, you can find the post that I have pinned to the top of the page, and then you just uh, um, add your picture, your photo, right there, and then there will be a prize at the end of the month. And I'm giving away a set of my open cups and a $10 gift certificate to Blick. Now, if you are, if you win and you live out of the country, out of the U.S., I tried to find a um, art um, supply place company that you can buy from. Because not every Blick doesn't always um, ship to, you know, those other places. So I try to accommodate. All right. So it's as simple as that. So if you're not a member, go check it out. And if you are a member, get going. Get creating.
All right, everybody, so here we go with the dried photos, and I think it dried awesome. I wasn't really sure when I was doing it, when I had the first open cup, that's why I did another one. The second time added some more movement to it. I got some really cool little cells that developed all over it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the results, soft and pretty, and this one would be nice to maybe add some words to it, or some glitter glass would be awesome. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, so leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel, and if there's someone that you think may enjoy it, you can go ahead and share that with them. It really, really does help out my channel, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, and don't forget to go over to my Facebook group and enter April's contest. Just find the pinned post and you can add your photo there. All right, guys, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop for all your acrylic pouring tool needs. And I've got a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.